Hey guys, this is my uh, 1952 Ford Aid and just going to do a short video on how to change the oil on your air breather. This is a uh, oil filled air breather. At the bottom this contains oil and the reason it's set up like that is a lot of these tractors are obviously used on uh, dusty fields and it keeps a lot of the uh, dirt and debris out of your air intake. Uh, going into your uh, carburetor as you can see the So the first thing that I would recommend is I have a oil pan underneath of the uh, tractor there in case any oil drips out secondly you just undo each side. This goes down like that and we'll get the other side and what this does is you can just lower it and this should be full of relatively clean oil. As you can see this oil seen better days so I'm just going to dump this out and you can see all the sediment and whatnot in there. It's pretty gross. So this stops all the uh, debris from going into your uh, carburetor. And then there's the uh, bottom of it. Uh, so you can actually uh, take out your screen too. And some people will clean that with for people cleaning it with gasoline, uh, brake cleaner, so you want to give that a good clean too and uh, wipe all this down too. So the next step is I'm going to give uh, this here a nice uh, wipe down and get that all cleaned out. Alright so I just got some clean paper towel and what I'm going to do is give this a real good cleaning. Uh, the big thing is you want to get all the debris that's down deep and I believe I changed this last uh, last year when I bought the tractor um, can't be 100% certain but I thought I did do it and I'm surprised at how dirty it actually uh, has gotten I mean I've seen much worse but it's fairly dirty so I'm gonna give this a real good cleaning there and we'll see how it looks after Alright guys, so the next step, pop this out, and this actually looks uh, actually very clean, other than a little bit of the uh, paint that just came off when I pulled it out, but this is actually uh, nice and clean, I actually don't see any debris in there, so what I'm going to do is just give this a quick wipe here, and as you can see that's what it looks like, there's some right at the top there too. It's nice to see that nice and clean. So this has been replaced fairly recently. It wasn't by me, but from the previous owner. And then once you get that clean, and again, this here is nice and clean. I'm going to put that back up. I've seen some of these before that have just been horrible. Much easier getting this out than putting it back in. So the easiest way I find is a little bit of a twisting motion to get it back up in there. If not, if you're just trying to force it up, it's uh, pretty hard. You got everything nice and clean. Next step is to actually add the oil. So you, you can see uh, about halfway up is the oil level. It's uh, in backwards when you look at it. Now, people say different types of oil, what they recommend and whatnot. I just had this kicking around, it's just a Pennzoil 5W30. I've known a ton of people just to use regular motor oil, 10W30, 5W30. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. So I'm just going to add that up to the oil level. And right about there is perfect. All we're going to do is take this back up and feed her back on. Just clamp that up. And that 
side right there and again it's as easy as that guys to uh, change oil in your uh, air filter again it's an oil bath air filter again it's uh, set up that way just to uh, keep contaminants out of your carburetor again for uh, working in dusty uh, conditions anyways guys this is uh, one thing uh, that's a lot of people forget to do uh, most people change the engine oil the oil filter transmission fluid hydraulic fluid and whatnot and a lot of people actually forget to uh, change this I know uh, had a few tractors and every time I uh, check the fluid in the uh, the condition of the oil in here it's always pretty much black and full of debris and this is something depending on how your uh, conditions are when you're using your tractor you might have to change it several times a year uh, where I'm at probably mainly for uh, dragging gravel in the driveway and, and plowing probably once or twice a year again what did it, did it cost me? You know, half a liter or so of uh, motor oil I had kicking around and uh, a little bit of cleaner. Anyways, guys, just a short video on uh, just a routine maintenance item on the old 1952 Ford Ada. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this uh, type of video, I have uh, quite a few videos on my old truck here. So you may want to subscribe and uh, check out the uh, Ford 8M playlist. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.